Hello and welcome back to Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium. Here we are all set for the second championship match, team championship match between Goa and Maharashtra. Very warm welcome to all of you joining us out here at the Shama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium for the 37th national games. We have the badminton team championships uh, taking place in the evening session of games out here. We've got on a center court, court number one, that is the Goa men's team uh, taking on uh, the Maharashtra men's team in uh, Group A. Of course, the match is being played between uh, Ayan Sheikh from Goa, uh, who's uh, wearing a uh, blue and of course uh, we have uh, Rohan Gurbani from uh, Maharashtra and of course we've got uh, Gurbani with an early lead of uh, three points already in this game. It seems to be an, an interesting and an exciting encounter and we hope for a good game. Rohan Gurbani earlier in the day won his first man singles match against Assam when he beat Imam Sonowal. We also have on a court. We also have on court a number two, the men's team championship group B games being played between Delhi and Karnataka. Kartike Kumar versus uh, Bargaves in uh, the court number two. This is the first taste of action for Ayan Sheikh of Goa as the men begin their campaign in the championship. Very nice uh, smash there by Ayan Sheikh from Goa and he draws a big applause from the crowd here. The locals will definitely back the Goan players, no doubt about it. Once again Ayan gets a point and there's big applause there naturally. Ayan goes up to four points, still trails by two though. to the opportunity of smashing it into the front court and does it beautifully goes up to five he is up against Rohan Gurbani former India number one in under 19 category this time though Rohan Gurbani got a lot of space uh, on uh, Ayan's right and manages to Get the point and the service over. Ayan will have to be much composed and try and take his time, not rush his shots. And there you saw when he rushed his shot, he got into that unforced error. And that's wide. Rohan Gurbani running off with an early lead of, uh, of about five points. But Ayan Sheikh from Goa trying his best to compete. But that is considered in by the officials. So now Gurbani has a five point lead. Ayan getting a few words of encouragement from his coaches. Rohan Gurbani has taken a six point lead over Ayan Sheikh and uh, Maharashtra is calling all the shots now. 11-5 is the point score right now. 
And of course, in the other games, on the other courts, in court number three, we have Andhra Pradesh taking on West Bengal. Navya Kanderi from Andhra Pradesh taking on uh, Rashika Das on uh, court number three. And on court number four, we've got the Maharashtra women's team taking on Punjab. Purva Barve taking on Samridhi, who played earlier in the morning today as well. So, yep, four courts in action in the afternoon session of games at the 37th National Games, the badminton team championships being held at the Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium out here in Bambalim, Goa. We're all set to resume action once again on centre court. Rohan Gurbani here testing and stretching Ayan Sheikh on his right and there gets an easy point 12-5 it's an easy put away for Rohan Gurbani he's running away with the game here 13-5 No chance there for Ayan Sheikh. Absolutely, his shots are well covered by Rohan Gurbani. He's in the best position to cut out the angles and he's making it look so easy for Maharashtra. 14 5 now. And it looks like it's going to be a 10-point lead for Rohan Gurbani out here for Team Maharashtra as he's comfortably in control of this game, looking to make quick work of the first game. A little lucky there, but nonetheless, he has been in complete control and of course, luck does favour the brave. 17-5 to Rohan Gurbani and Ayan Sheikh from Goa. Feeling the pressure. Finally getting on the score sheet is Ayan. He's going to take a lot more to come back into this game as uh, Rohan has built up a sizable lead. And serving now is Ayan. Seven seventeen. Can Ayan come up with something that will challenge Rohan Gurbani? This is so comfortable for Rohan Gurbani, and he's getting those points in most of the time. At this time, it's eight seventy. I think. Right now, what Ayan is trying to do is what he should have started at the game, try and move his opponent around the court a little bit more. But Rohan now having a sizable lead. Seems to extend it to 11 points, just a couple of points away from winning the first game in this opening match. This time though, Rohan Gurbani lost the direction and sends the shuttle out wide of the sidelines. 9-19, Ayan to serve. There you go, Rohan Gurbani on 20. Maharashtra have a game point now against Ayan Sheikh of Goa. Ten twenty. And needs to take points continuously if he has to upset the rhythm of Rohan. 
but no makes a simple error on his serve and that proves costly as goa have lost the first game of this team championship league stage against maharashtra the goa men's team are playing are getting their first taste in the championship earlier in the morning we saw the women team of goa start the campaign this time it's the men's turn and ayan shake who is out in the center in the first of the five match tussle against maharashtra against rohan gurbani who has comfortably bagged the first game 21 10 yes absolutely right niraj uh, goa would really need to pull up their socks if uh, ayan has to stage a comeback into this game it has been tough for the lad from goa ayan shake going up against rohan gurbani from maharashtra there are games happening on four courts out here at the dr shama prasad mukherjee stadium at the badminton team championships we've got the goa men's team taking on the guys from maharashtra in court 2 we've got the men's team from delhi taking on the men's team from karnataka and on court 3 and 4 we've got the women's team championship games of group a and group b we've got andhra pradesh taking on west bengal in court 3 and of course maharashtra taking on punjab on court 4 exciting set of games a bit of a breather on court 1 the first game was comprehensively won by rohan gurbani against ayan badminton players they have a lot of efforts to be put out there it's not just in terms of physical fitness and endurance but a lot goes into ironing out the flaws in their strokes and the game vision must be at par as well a highly competitive sport and we are witnessing a tussle between the young rohan gurbani and ayan shekh here And Ayan has started off the second set in much better fashion than he did the first, making his opponent move around the court, maneuvering him, and then smashing it in. And that is out, is what the officials say. So Ayan running away with the early lead in the second game. The second match. and of course now scores are tied two a piece with rohan serving and that's out according to the officials on court rohan taking a lead now in this game for two i am looking a little confused over there <laughs> will have to talk to himself and tell himself he has to do better he has to place it right coaches are there navneet nasnurkar utsav mishra they are sitting by the court side the goa coaches and ayan will have to pay attention this time a wonderful jump smash a cross court effort and gets a valuable point takes his total up to 3 goa versus maharashtra in badminton here at the 37 national game another error by rohan gurbani and ayan shake is getting a little bit of momentum here two back to back points for the goan 
and the Goan badminton lovers will hope that the streak continues and it does. 5 6 now to Ayan Sheikh. He is on a bit of a roll here now. Hat trick of points, and the crowd are loving it. And that is all that Ayan needs a little bit of back to back points, and he should be in the game once again. Unfortunately for Ayan, that shot was directed straight at his body. No much room to maneuver. Gurbani with flawless hit. No chance out there for Ayan Rohan with a jump smash <laughs> to win. Another good point for him and Maharashtra as they lead 8-5. Rohan Gurbani has complete control over this tussle. The way Rohan is moving, he looks very confident uh, that he has uh, established himself as a favourite in this contest. placement is accurate by Rohan Gurbani and he goes up to 11 a six point lead in the second game after having won the first very very comfortably at 21 11 it's now 10 it's now 11 5 in favor of Maharashtra in the second game against Goa and to update you about what's happening on court two we've got uh, Gulshan Kumar taking off from Delhi taking on Bhargaves from Karnataka and Gulshan Kumar in uh, losing the first first set 11 to 21 and of course is in the second game is leading right now by by two points on court three we've got the girls from Andhra Pradesh and West Bengal we've got uh, Navya Kandel who won the first game 21-15 against Radhika Rashika Das and the second game is uh, up and running and in the final court four we've got the Maharashtra women's team taking on Punjab where the first where Purva Barve won the first set 21-9 completely dominated Samriddhi. You see a fantastic charge of a cross court smash very easily done by Rohan. Rohan Gurbani is leaving no opportunity go bagging is taking those smashes very well easy points there for Rohan Gurbani this time Ayan Sheikh equal to the task with a fantastic execution of a smash a powerful down the line winner this time for Ayan Sheikh Fourteen six. Rohan Gurbani of Maharashtra leads Ayan Sheikh of Goa. The accuracy is uh, definitely something that uh, Ayan Sheikh must work on his game. His shots when he goes for the points are missing the lines and that hands over easy points to his opponents. That again, once again, was out and uh, Rohan just like the first set has built a comfortable lead in the second one nine point lead now for Rohan over Ayan and he looks like he's in control but Ayan has the serve Seventeen seven. this match is getting over in no time it goes like this
Once again, Ayan completely wavered with his uh, shots today. Just doesn't seem like it's his day. But you got to give credit to Rohan as well, who is maneuvering Ayan all over the court and comfortably winning points without even breaking a sweat. Yeah, and this time he was in some sort of a rush and missed a point on his serve, uh, Rohan Gurbani. Hence, an uh, easy point to Ayan. Well, well, well. There's no competition between these two women. It's a match point for Ayan as he serves. There you go, Maharashtra's Rohan Gurbani goes up to 20. Yes, match point on. Ayan gets, saves a match point for Goa. This time, it's done. Rohan Gurbani says thank you very much for the terror and 21-9. The second game is over. So Maharashtra have put it across Goa, the first of the men's singles match. 21-10, 21-9. And uh, Rohan Gurbani has done it very handsomely against Goa's Ayan Sheikh. Quick work of uh, the match, of course, courtesy of uh, Rohan and Ayan. That was a very quick game, of course. Rohan comprehensively winning uh, that one. Yes, it was absolutely one-sided. Uh, you can call it that way because uh, there was not a semblance of fight offered by Ayan Sheikh. It was a very tame performance. But uh, you have to give it to Rohan Gurbani. He has shown his class. He has uh, been in good form this year. Earlier this year, he won the All India Senior Championship in Hyderabad and that has done him a great job uh, of lifting his confidence. The former India number one in the under 17 and under 19 category, Rohan Gurbani looks like he is finding his form in the seniors level. We will have Rohan Gurbani talk to Doordarshan in a very short while. Elroy will be having a chat with the winner of the match. Just finished on the court number one. Rohan Gurbani there with Elroy. All of you joining us out here, I am with the winner of the men's singles game that was played between Goa and Maharashtra. We have got Rohan Gurbani with us out here, the winner of the game, winning in comfortable sets, very quick time. How was the game experience for you? The game experience was perfect for me as uh, all the court situations and uh, his game, I was really able to play against it and it went well on my way and I just want to thank all the fans who are coming from uh, Goa and supporting us. It's a really overwhelming feeling but uh, it's really nice to play here. It's really nice to play here. You make quick work of your opponent in finishing the game off in less than about 25 minutes or so. Uh, how was it playing out here? Uh, what were the challenges you faced in this game? There was a bit of a drift and definitely my opponent gave me a hell of a challenge and I just uh, thought of staying calm and being in the moment and having fun during play. That's all my strategy was and if we win this tie, we are looking forward to play in the finals. Alright, all the very best. I hope you enjoy Goa and we hope Goa treats you well as well. Thank you, thanks a lot. Thank you so much. trying to tell all the spectators out here that they have done a nice job by coming to the ground how much it means to the players uh, to have spectators cheering for them. Maharashtra's Rohan Gurbani has done his job and now the focus shifts over to uh, Arya Bhupatki who will be taking on Goa's Arunesh Edge in the second singles match coming your way and we will make way for co-commentator Sham Gaukar and uh, Savio Norona for this match.
थैंक यू वेरी मच नीरज लवली मैच जस्ट आता अभी हमने जो देखी वो बहुत ही बढ़िया मैच थी ऑल दो वन साइडेड थी लेकिन बहुत ही अच्छा प्रयास गोवा के प्लेयर्स ने किया और फाइनली द मैच वॉज वन बाय रोहन गुरबानी ऑफ महाराष्ट्र जो अभी जो सेकेंड सिंगल मैच होने वाली है वो है अरुणेश एच फ्रॉम गोवा वर्सिस आर्य भ्यूपत के प्लेयर फ्रॉम महाराष्ट्र सो इन द ग्रुप ए मेन्स टीम चैंपियनशिप एट द नेशनल गेम्स 2023 ट्वेंटी बीइंग हेल्ड इन गोवा इज द डॉक्टर श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी स्टेडियम राइट हियर इन गोवा क्लोज टू द गोवा यूनिवर्सिटी क्लोज टू द scenic uh, location uh, of dona paula in goa and not far from the miramar beach as well but uh, the action on uh, show court is uh, goa's arunesh h uh, featuring uh, against uh, arya bhupathki of maharashtra the second men singles match of uh, this tie between two neighboring states Goa and Maharashtra both have uh, a lot of uh, lovers of badminton in their respective states Maharashtra already have uh, played a match against Assam in the morning and the evening session they have Goa to contend with so things are set on uh, show court that's court one number 1 and the badminton arena here at uh, the national games 2023 arunesh h versus arya bhupathki usse dekha jaye to hamara goa natural resource se bhara hua hai aur jahan tak khel ki baat kare to goa bahut khel premi log hai second match begin to start Arya Bhupat Bhupat ki they are taking the first uh, two points uh, the second one with with a cross court smash taking him 2-0 up And there goes Arunesh's uh, first point of the game. He's serving now, one three. There goes Arunesh with his way of smashing to get a point. Two three, Arunesh serving. Where the linesman calling it in, and Arunesh has uh, showed us. that he has it in him fighting back from 0-3 down to 3 all now wow that's quite a comeback from 0-3 down it's 4-3 to arunesh
increases his lead there. Goa's uh, Arunesh, Arunesh H leading 5-3. Bhupatki takes one back. Now serving at 4 5. On court number three, a tough between Arnold Pradesh and the first of Bengal. Second women's single match. We were This is turning out to be Surya, a fabulous. Fight of a match. Both the players using their skill, their reach. A nice match. It's turning out to be 5 5 now. Arunesh H versus Arya Bipatki of Maharashtra. The second uh, tie in this. Uh, Champ men's team championship. The first singles. Goa lost the first singles. Six five to Arunesh. Oh, good placement from Arunesh. Gets him another point. And that was good judgment by Arya. Fetching him a point and keeping him close to Arunesh. Oh, that's bad luck for Arunesh. But Bifutki has earned his point. 7-7 seven, seven now. Arunesh trying for placements on both sides, but... Uh, did not succeed the second time round, losing a point. <laughs> and look at that. That's Arunesh uh, at his very best, getting a point back, equaling the score now 8 8. This is a real seesaw of a match. I think that was one of the longest rallies so far, but ending up with uh, Maharashtra getting a point, taking a slender lead now, 10-8. With that timeout coming up, it's 11-8 uh, in favor of uh, Arya Bhutpatki of Maharashtra. Sham seems to be enjoying the proceedings as well. Definitely, Savio. Jab tak match achhu chale aur aap jaise logon ki baatir kahne ka sunne ka man kare, to bas sunta hi jao. Aisa hi lagta hai. Kyunki jo match chal raha hai, wo bahut hi badiya chal raha hai. Although kate ki tucker hai, lekin fir bhi score 11-8 score hai. Goa three points se pichhad raha hai. Fir bhi 
होप करते हैं कि ये गेम अच्छा आगे जाएगा टाइम लिया है कोचिस विल गाइड द प्लेयर और जो गाइडेंस के बाद जो उसको हौसला मिलता है वो हौसला ढेर सारी बातें बयां करता है सो रिज्यूमिंग आफ्टर दोस टू मिनट्स of talking to their respective coaches and a time out sort of Arunesh loses that point serving badly There you go. The local crowd uh, cheering him for earning that point was Arunishic. Two points back to back. Ten, twelve. Reading well once again. Gets him three points on the trot. He must be thinking now. I must get this fourth one to equal the scores. Oh, that was unfortunate for Arunesh. Sarya's turn now to lose a point. Trying to place one up way behind Arunesh. Going out. That was a good take from Arunesh, but landing out and uh, keeping Arya's lead to two points, 14-12. Arya looking cool and composed. He must be ha feeling happy with the three-point lead. Which has now come down to two. So Goaz Arunesh asking for a shuttle cha uh, change. Coming back, ready to serve. 13-15. Arya reads that one well. Gives it out. Gets a point. Serving 16-13. Second time in the match, Sham, that Arunesh has uh, has got the shuttle on uh, Arya's back. It's 14-16 now. Arunesh serving. Beautiful smash there by uh, Govan player Rahul Sharunesh. Our score, Philhal 15-17. बहुत ही बढ़िया मैच चल रहे हैं. Although Goa दो अंकों से पीछे चल रहे हैं, फिर भी बहुत ही उम्मीद है क्योंकि support support की बात जब आती है, तो Goa being a local team बहुत ही अच्छा बढ़िया support audience से मिलता हुआ. और जो मैच Philhal शुरू है, लगता है कि गोवा के फेवर में जाएगा क्योंकि बहुत ही कूल तरीके से दोनों ही प्लेयर अपना खेल दिखा रहे हैं और जब खेल चलता है तो ऑडियंस 
जैसे ही बैट के गेम का लुफ्त उठाते हैं बहुत ही बढ़िया मैच और ये मैच अगर आगे अच्छी तरह से चली गई तो गोवा डेफिनेटली इक्वल द स्कोर फिलहाल जो स्कोर है वो 15-17 है गोवा टू सर्व And with Arya smash uh, landing out, uh, the seesaw battle uh, has come back again. With Arunesh now uh, just one point behind. And can you believe it? It's 17 all. What a match this is turning out to be. Maharashtra's Arya and uh, Goa's Arunesh. Taking a lead, falling behind, equaling again, trailing there, coming back. It's all happening in this game between Goa and Maharashtra. Goa's Arunesh H and uh, Maharashtra's Arya Bipatki. 17 all. Such a crucial stage for both of them. It's 18-17 now, Arya to serve. Oh my God, uh, Arunesh was all attention in that rally. He was watching the shuttle clo closely, taking steps behind, coming forward and uh, sealing it with that smash. It's 18 all now. That's a splendid point, one of the best of the evening. And uh, these two guys are giving us an evening to remember here. Bipatki of Maharashtra and Arunesh of Goa. That was uh, a fabulous rally ending with uh, Arunesh taking a point, taking a lead, getting closer to the number that he wants. In fact, anyone wants a number 21 on their side. But right now, Arunesh is leading. Uh, Bipatki, 19-18, anything can happen. Both of them are playing well. Both of them are going neck to neck. It's a seesaw battle. Absolutely fantastic. It's a great evening here at the Dr. Shamal Prasad Mukherjee Stadium in uh, Bambuling, Goa. There you go, Lady Luck with Arunesh takes him to game point. He's leading 2018. He acknowledges the luck that uh, took him to that point. Serving at 2018. That's it, you can hear the applause from the crowd, from the coach, from the people around. Arunesh H has taken the first game for Goa, 21-18. This is the second men's singles match of the men's uh, uh, team competition here. And uh, it's been a fabulous game. Uh, both of them, Arunesh and Arya, uh, showing us uh, the talent they have, the determination, and uh, they were just not giving up. But it's finally Arunesh who has taken the first game, 21-18.
जैसे कि हम बात कर रहे थे जब टाइम आउट लिया गया था तो मैंने बात की थी जब कोच का इंटरव्यून होता है कोच जब भी कुछ सलाह देते हैं तो उसका फ़ायदा होता है यही बात हमने यहाँ हमें देखने को मिली जब टाइम आउट लिया था गोवा पीछे चल रहे थे और जब टाइम आउट के वक्त जब कोच ने उनसे बात कही तब से जो हमारा अरुणेश है गोवा का अरुणेश उनने जितने जल्दी हो सके ये मैच अपने काबू में ले लिया और बहुत ही बढ़िया मैच हमें देखने को मिली और दो गोवा पीछे चल रहे थे लेकिन फाइनली जो पहला सेट वो गोवा के नाम हो चुका है और सबसे अच्छी बात यह है कि गोवा जब खेलता है तो क्राउड बहुत ही चेयर्स करते हैं और क्राउड जब चेयर्स करते हैं तो उसका उनका मनोबल और बढ़ता है उन्हें अच्छा करने का और एक अंदर से जो बात उनसे मिलती है उनसे थोड़ा सा बुस्टअप मिलता है और यही बात हमने अभी देखी फिलहाल जो पहला सेट था वो गोवा के नाम और फर्स्ट मैच बी प्लेड बिटवीन गोवा एंड महाराष्ट्र और अरुणेश एच जो गोवा के प्लेयर है उन आर्य विपत के उनसे ये बहुत ही अच्छा चला हुआ मैच अपने नाम करवा दिया और फिलहाल दूसरे सेट की तैयारी शुरू हो चुकी है दूसरा सेट देखेंगे कितने देर तक चलता है क्योंकि बैडमिंटन खेल एक ऐसा खेल है जहाँ अगर एक बार थोड़ा सा बुस्टअप मिल जाए तो खेल बहुत ही फलता है फुलता है All right, and as you can see, Arunesh uh, of Goa and uh, Arya Maharashtra are back uh, in action for the second game. And Arya has taken a lead there, two-zero. And Arya's try crashes into the net there. earning arunesh's first point of the game arunesh serving 1-2 so he gets his second point it's two all now That was an error by Arunesh, uh, losing a losing a point. But uh, Arya is happy anyway because he's in the lead again, serving at three-two. Trying to place it on. the far right corner arunesh loses a point and now arya loses a point and the serve is back with arunesh serving at 3-4 a good drop by uh, arya takes him to 5-3 this these two are absolutely on the same platform they are not letting go of each other i think uh, we've rarely seen a lead of more than 3 or 4 points is just see the a lead by 2 or 1 slender leads here but they are going neck and neck Arunesh Narya What a take there but couldn't make it back and uh, Arya is now 3 points up 6-3 and that's some unfortunate judgment by arunesh thinking that it will be dropping outside the line it gets a point for arya
four seven now. Arunesh serving. Oh, that was one good play by Arunesh, earning him another point to bring him closer to Arya. But Arya won't be ready to let go of his lead. Let's see what happens. Six seven. Arun is trailing. Good serving. That's a good take by Arunesh, uh, earning him another point and uh, equaling the scores now, 7-7. Seven, seven. Really entertaining to watch them, Sham. They're not letting go of each other. Yes, a very big match is going on. The response of the audience is going on. The match is going on. I think it's like a big game. So, when the match is going on in any stadium, in any court, it's going on. तो मन करता है कि वो देखने लायक होते हैं और इसी अंदाज में शुरू हुआ ये मैच फिलहाल इक्वल सेवन सेवन पे चल रहा है और अभी अरुणेश लीड कर रहे हैं गोवा के एट सेवन एट सेवन इज़ द फ्रेश स्कोर और गोवा टू सर्व दो पॉइंट्स की बढ़त लेते हुए गोवा का स्कोर नाइन वर्सेस महाराष्ट्र सेवन फिर एक बार आउट और स्कोर टेन सेवन दस सात का आंकड़ा फिलहाल जो मैच डॉक्टर श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी स्टेडियम पे चल शुरू है Beautiful smash from beautiful smash from Goa. Or, if you see, if this game, if this match goes further, then a very big final result we will get. Now, the score is 11-7. Let's see. 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 It's 11-7. Look at that replay where Arunesh earns yet another point with a really thunderous smash there, taking his lead up to 11-7. He's won the first game, 21-18. He's four points up now. His team must be already getting their first sniffs of victory here. If all goes well, all he has to do is keep his thoughts positive. Because Arya is also a very good player and can make a comeback. So Arya earns a point there, serving at 8-11. The color of the first, uh, the second match is as good as the first one was. They have this knack of making a comeback, even when uh, Arunesh was trailing earlier. He made a comeback, and Arya was trailing by four points now. But no He's brought it down to two. But Arunesh seems to be determined to keep his lead at least 
from the last point that he has taken. Serving now at 12 9. So there, Arya taking that last point, reducing it, the deficit to three, trailing 10 13. Arunesh wants some spots clean up before he goes into action again with Arya. It's Goa versus Maharashtra here in the, the men's team championship, the second match of the evening on this court. Arunesh earns that point, urging himself to go on 14-10. mutters something to his coach Arunesh as he loses that point. But gets one back soon after. Arya displeased with himself as Arunesh readies to serve 15-11. Uh, losing that point there and uh, he thinks otherwise as as far as the line call goes so battle royale here Goa losing the first men's singles in the evening session here against Maharashtra when Ayan Sheikh lost to Rohan Gurbani. But his uh, compatriot has, uh, is making a fight of, out of it. Took the first game 21-18 and is leading 15-12 in the second. Goes up to 16-12 now. Arunesh, the crowd cheering him on. Uh, cheering him on is the whole state Goa that he represents. <laughs> Fabulous smash there by uh, Arunesh. Arya was not expecting it. It was uh, a good point that Arunesh has earned because that has taken him five points ahead of Arya Bhupatki. He is sensing victory now. He's taken the first game 21-18, leading 17-12 in the next. And this is a very comfortable position for Arunesh and for Goa. They are sniffing their first victory here in the men's team championship filhal dekhi jaye to 4 points ki duri hai to the entry 
And if you look at the score now, 18-12 to Arunesh. He's looking confident with every point he gets. Have I spoken too early? Because he's just lost a point. And is now it's now Arya serving at 13-18. He's got a good reach, Arunesh, being, being so tall, uh, whichever side, whether it's backhand or forehand. It's quite easy for him to take. So it's 19-13 to Arunesh. And there you go, he's looking at his coach, signalling that he needs just one point to get victory here, leading 20-13. And there you go, Arunesh H of Goa earns the men's team their first point in the team's championship. It's 21-18, 21-13. Arunesh, the victor here against Arya Bhupatki of Maharashtra. And uh, the crowd must be really happy, whoever is watching around Goa and around India who supports Goa. Arunesh H, winning 21-18, 21-13 against Arya Bhupatki. Of course, this was a fantastic game. The uh, Goans registering their first points on the board. And we now have uh, Savio Norona in a conversation with the winner, Arunesh, uh, from the Goa team who earned Goa their very first points of the game. They're going to be in conversation with Arunesh in just a short while, along with Savio Norona, as we get ready for the third game, which will be the doubles game between Arjun Falari and Mohammad Reshan from Goa, taking on Deep Rabia and Akshan Shetty from Maharashtra. the next match coming your way it's going to be happening very soon on center court coming up next we've got a Savio Norona in a conversation with the winner of the Goa men's team Arunesh H who went on to win the game all right there you go to my left is Arunesh H uh, Goa's star badminton player he's just earned them their first victory in the men's team championship uh, uh, he beat Arya of Maharashtra 21 18 21 13 Arunesh uh, lovely to have you with us uh, you. The, you started off uh, the first game uh, with uh, trail uh, by trailing 0 3 well, but you came number back number slowly uh, how again. Yeah. so actually I wasn't able to adapt to the court conditions at the first, you know, first uh, half. But then uh, slowly I got the rhythm, and I was uh, seeing that he was struggling as well. So all I did was like keep it inside for a bit, and he got a little impatient and he started making errors. He's not usually that kind. He's a, he's a very good rally player. So I was getting prepared. I was preparing for uh, you know big rallies, uh, but yeah, fortunately he uh, started making little. Uh, you know, more errors than me. <laughs> yeah. You seem to be a fabulous uh, uh, judge of the shuttle. You know, you, you took very good uh, line calls for yourself and most of them were, were correct. Yeah. So actually, the, those uh, judgments were very close. Uh, it was supposed to be a little, you know, uh, wider than I expected it to be. But because of the drift, it, uh, it was closing in. Uh, but still, yeah. Uh, thing was I, I thought it would be wider than uh, you know it, it actually was yeah. and in the second in the second game you you seem to be confidence personified you were leading at regular intervals and then you took a huge lead and uh, I think post the 15 uh, point mark you were confident of victory yeah uh, absolutely after first set I uh, I had the confidence uh, because as I said uh, he was becoming very impatient and you know uh, I tried to make it uh, uh, like I uh, took advantage of that situation and uh, yeah, cheers to him also because he played really well but thing was uh, the court didn't set too well for him 
uh, the same time I got adjusted a little bit faster. And final question for all, all of uh, the Goan fans, uh, badminton lovers uh, looking at you. How's the mood in the Goan contingent and what do you have to say to the viewers from Goa? Yeah, so the audience are very uh, uh, excited and, uh, you know, a huge thanks to them because their energy is also our energy as well. And, uh, you know, thanks everyone for uh, supporting and, uh, you know, cheers to all of you. There you go, uh, Arun Eshech, uh, Goa's uh, badminton star, talking to us after winning against Arya Bhupati of Maharashtra, 21-18-21-13. Let's back to the commentary box as we have the next match coming up. Well, that was uh, Sabin Arona in conversation with uh, Arunesh, the victor of the Goa men's team against uh, Arya from the Maharashtra men's team, winning the game in uh, straight sets, uh, putting on a very good fight, of course, was Arya. But now we have our next game on centre court, Arjun Falari and uh, Mohammad Rehan from Team Goa in uh, blue taking on uh, Deep Rambia and Akshan Shetty from Maharashtra. If you're just joining us out here at the 37th National Games uh, taking place out here in Goa at the Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium in Bambali. We've got lots of people walking in as the evening sun sets. We've got more people walking into the stadium to support the local team out here of Goa. Uh, we're hoping that this is another win for Team Goa against their neighbours Maharashtra. We've also got other games happening on the other courts where we have Arjun Rehani from Delhi taking on uh, Prithvi Roy K from Karnataka. That is happening on uh, court number two. Of course, on court number three, we've got Surya Karishma Tamiri taking on Karish Kanishka. And uh, on court number four, we have Alisha Naik of Maharashtra taking on Radhika Sharma from Punjab. And the ref, the game officials for this match, telling both players of both teams to get ready for the game. A crucial result for Goa earlier. Arunesh uh, defeating Arya Bhivapatki. And that means the tie is now in the balance. 1-1 one, one in this best of five affair between Goa and Maharashtra in the team championship. Maharashtra had uh, defeated Assam before this match and if Maharashtra win here, they will go into the final of the team championship. But this is the first outing for the Goa men's team. Earlier in the morning, the Goa women's team played Punjab and went down narrowly by two matches to three. So here we are all set for this double tussle. Arjun Falari and Mohamed Rehan of Goa will take on Deep Rambia and Akshan Shetty of Maharashtra. Maharashtra to serve. Love all. That's wide. First points going to Team Goa. And returning the favor, Team Goa decides to give away the first set of points to Maharashtra as well. And Maharashtra with the serve now. It's very, very quick, energetic play to begin with all three points so you'll we see close action near the net a string of errors as well but it's Goa who have taken a two-point lead it's 3-1 lots of unforced errors at the start of the game and I'm sure this match will get vociferous applause from the Goan supporters who are cheering here the boys in blue. A 
that was a very powerful smash by Maharashtra's Shetty. 2-4, Maharashtra to serve. Fantastic there, good reflexes by Mohammad Rehan, wins point for Goa, 5-2. This is the second match in this best of five affair between Goa and Maharashtra. Rather the third match, it's one all so far in this rubber. Now that was wide off the mark. But still, Goa have a two-point lead against their opponents in this game. The Goan boys in blue taking on the guys from Maharashtra in the light yellow and black shots. Goan players saying that there's a little bit of drift out there for the shuttle but they're going to have to compensate and uh, try and win the next points 5-4 Another point won by the boys from in blue from Goa and of course every point being cheered on by the local supporters out here Some words of encouragement from both coaches to their players, instructing them on uh, getting a little bit better and getting their act together. However, the coaches' words may have caused more problems as they may have got into their heads as that shot was wide. Maharashtra pairing, they never give it up, they, they fight it till the end and Goa pair has to be equal to the task and we see it's neck and neck right now, 7-6 in favour of Maharashtra. take their score to eight rather than seven all Maharashtra had earlier defeated Assam and this double sparing of deep and action pulled off a thriller against Assam in straight sets it was 23-21 uh, and 22-20 in 35 minutes, that was one of the best doubles matches of the day so far. As Deep and Action beat the Assam, Stutia and uh, Goya. But right now, the focus is all on Maharashtra versus Goa. It's 9-7 in the favor of Maharashtra in this first game. And unfortunately for the guys in blue, that was wide. They started the game off well, but uh, Arjun and Mohammad Rehan faltering along the way, allowing their opponents to get back into the game and now take a lead. Eight ten, another point for the Goan boys will have their work cut out for them. They're going to have to work hard against the accomplished tour of the Maharashtan team, Deep Rabia and Akshan Shetty. 
and giving away easy points is not going to help their cause at all. Take a bit of a breather as the score is now 11 points to Maharashtra and 8 to Goa. The match here looks well balanced, the teams look balanced but uh, it's all about the depth in the team. These strokes that one can play and accuracy is also matters. Accuracy matters when it's all about fine margins for error. You can see the coach for Goa, Navneet Nasnurkar, in a very, very animated discussion with Arjun Falari. is giving him the tips, is full of energy there. The coach and obviously the players are also all ears to what the coach has to say. Let us see what they can do. They are right now trailing by three points to this Maharashtra pair. It's a good start after the break. It's always difficult after the break to gather your concentration and get back into the game. But the boys in blue seem to have started well. And let's look as to what if they can catch up with the score that the Martians have already picked on a lead. Straight down the middle, but straight out of the middle as well. And uh, that means the lead for the Maharashtrans is cut, is down to just two points. And the boys from Goa clawing their way back up in this game. Another successful point, Neeraj, for the, for the guys out here. Just one point difference now. The boys in uh, blue picking their way up. Looks like it's going to be a close encounter. Absolutely, no doubt about it. The Goa boys are also pumped up for the occasion. The, the home team, they had to be ready for the challenge when national games would be unfurled, unveiled and here today the national games have begun and it's time to show what they have got. Fantastic rally there. Unfortunately for Goa, the net wasn't low enough for them to score the points. <laughs> but it's all about direction and power and that's how if you try to upset a little bit of uh, balance there, go for more power then you lose the direction. That's what happened, they hit the net. And, uh, yeah, it's always a game of fine margins. Very, very game. fine margins. Absolutely right, Neeraj. Very fine margins. 13-12, that's a fine margin of lead as well. Let's see what unfolds next. desired and Maharashtra found a way out, found a way into the point area by getting through the gap there. The boys in Goa seem to be having trouble at the net, losing a couple of points very close to the net. They're trailing both uh, Deep and Akshan by three points now. Arjun and Mohammad Rehan need to pick their game up and a coach having a word with them. Let's see if it makes a little difference in their game style as they get ready to serve Maharashtra. Very well judged there by Mohammad Rehan and he knew right away that that serve was uh, crossing the inside line and well left there. 
गोवा गैर पॉइंट फिफ्टीन थर्टी Every point is valuable here, but the return here is little long, and Maharashtra restore their three-point lead. Unfortunately, that was well off the mark, going very far, but of course. the lead is growing for the marastans well left arjun pilari is a good decision and he knew exactly that that shuttle was going sailing out of the area of the court <laughs> beg your pardon and goa 14 maharashtra 17 that was smashed against him he had absolutely no chance for a return there but a point well fought 18 14 now maharashtra leads and they serve as well as much as they would like that to remain in again little bit of drift on the shuttle moving it outside the line and of course a point for team maharashtra there 1914 with the serve easy give away there 15 19 the points seem to be running away for maharashtra they should be looking to close out the game but that's not happening but the boys in goa are fighting back Well, the Maharashtra boys have really built steam here, and they have taken their lead to five. This is a very, very big lead, considering that we are deep into this first game. It's 20-15, a game point for Maharashtra now. That was sensational, very, very deceptive by Arjun Falari. What a point for Goa, and you know that Goa fans have really loved it. big applause what a fantastic frantic spell of play here but maharashtra have pocketed the first game winning 21-16 Akshan Shetty and uh, Deep Rambia have got it across to Arjun Falari and Mohammad Rehan. And of course, in the other games uh, taking place on court two, we've got Arjun Rehani taking on Prithvi Roy. And the first game, it was uh, Prithvi Roy who came out victorious in that match, winning 21-15. Uh, Prithvi Roy uh, hailing from Karnataka, defeating Arjun from Delhi. Of course, the second game is on in that match, and of course, in uh, Court Three, we have uh, Andhra Pradesh taking on West Bengal. This is, of course, the women's team championship, a uh, Group A set of matches which are taking place. While on centre court, we have a two-minute interval as uh, both the Maharashtra and the Goan boys will look to have a word with their technical staff and their coaches. imparting a little bit of wisdom and of course telling them to stay a little calm when uh, going in for points as the sun is setting on a day 1 of the 37 national games we've had a day full of exciting and interesting games of badminton out here in the morning half we had the honorable chief minister of goa and of course the honorable minister for sports as well have a small inauguration ceremony out here 
We had lots of school kids and of course college goers who were joining us in the morning and afternoon halves. And uh, it's, it looks like we're back with live action on court one. Good start for Goa in this second game. The Maharashtra pairing finds the net and Goa overjoyed with a good positive start. Getting a point in the second game. It's absolutely vital that Goa makes a good start here. And to come back into this contest, they have to win this game. Mohammad Rehan to serve. 1-0. This is absolutely disaster when a shuttler loses the point on their own serve, not being able to serve out in the right way. And that's what Goa has just done, gifted a point to Maharashtra. And just like that, there's a comeback from Maharashtra. In, in just a couple of seconds, in fact, the game is swinging from one side to the other. That's a good finish. Very, very well done by Mohamed Rehan. He knew that he had the chance to go for a close smash in the f for front court and he did it nicely. 3-2 to go up. It's a little bit of a fortune for Maharashtra as they strike parity. 3-all in the second game. Maharashtra's to serve. And just like that, luck evens it out for Goa as they lost the previous point at the net, this time winning the point at the net and taking the lead once again and a serve as well. A little bit of miscommunication between the boys in blue getting in their own way. For all is what the score reads with Maharashtra to serve. Four with that excellent smash from uh, Falari. Well done. At this time, Rehan maneuvering the shuttle to their advantage. In a game of fine margins, we have uh, Arjun calming himself down before the next play begins. Well done there by Arjun. He was so eager to finish it and he hit the nail on the head. 7 5 to Goa. Two point lead for Goa here. Mohammad Rehan to serve. Composure and aggression is required in equal balance here. Brilliant there, Goa boys on the roll. There's a lot of support as well from the locals. The home team is on the top in the second game, having lost the first game. And the only way that Goa can make a comeback is when they keep it rolling in the second game. A little bit of miscommunication once again between the boys in blue resulting in another point for Maharashtra. Uh, the score still in favour of the Goans as they lead 
by eight to six. Yes, there is a good amount of cohesion that is required for Goa to, you know, take points continuously. Seven. I was wide from uh, Arjun acknowledging his mistake again a little bit of drift present on the shuttle but let's see what they have in response next you can't allow you can't allow a little bit of shot up in the air a short return and you get smashed and Goa boys know it really well Arjun Falari to serve here. He needs to calm himself down. You can see he's talking to himself. He has the talent. He needs a little bit of composure. And that's how we can get accuracy quotient up in his game. There's no shortage of shortage of talent. 9-8. Goa lead by just a point in the second game against Maharashtra. Another successful point for Goa out there and you can hear the roar of the crowd cheering on every single point that the men in blue are winning. That's the local support that has come out for the 37th national games out here at the Shama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium in Bambali where the badminton team championships are taking place. We have a bit of a breather out as uh, both sets of players psyching themselves up for the next set of points both the players are sweating profusely here and that's how hard they have to work for every point you have to give more than 100 percent and that's what the goa boys have done so far 10-9 is the score maharashtra is trailing my point and serving Yes, as you said, the humidity definitely playing a, a role and factor in uh, this uh, game out here. Even in the previous game, uh, Rohan uh, Gurbani was talking about how the humidity was causing a little bit of drift in the game. You have to adjust accordingly for it and both sets of players out here would be looking to do that as well. But in this game, it is all even Stevens. A crucial phase here in the second game and Goa just nicks it at the halfway mark 11-10 in favor of Goa and they have to really be focused and concentrate on this phase of the match here of three or four point lead here can do a world of good for the confidence of the players they have to just keep going and focus on every point be composed and strike at the right opportunity to finish the point kill the shuttle that's how you win points and against an opponent of the quality of maharashtra you cannot afford to commit silly mistakes if i can put that down uh, to the unforced errors and kind of rushing into your shots you need to avoid it and you've seen time and again arjun falari talking to himself and telling himself to calm down and take the time bit of a fraction of a second that is available before striking your shot on the other hand Mohammad Rehan has also been good and competitive and he has to complement his partner really well and keep going 11 10 Arjun Falari to serve another successful point for Team Goa 
And yes, there is an audience in attendance today. I'd like to say that it is a, a free for people to come in and watch the national games happening out here in Goa. We're getting to you live coverage from the Doodarshan network, of course, as well. And another point for Arjun and Rehman. Looks like that break was really required for Arjun as he has calmed himself down and is looking like he is going for the kill. This time Mohammed Rehan couldn't get the return across onto the other end and that's how they can see the point. The lead is down to two points now. Maharashtra to serve 11-13. Superb rally there, but Maharashtra really outplayed the Goans here. No shortage of effort. Arjun Falari diving to return the shuttle and keep the point going. But in the end, the Maharashtrians found a lot of space in the rival court and finished the point to perfection. This is developing into a very, very intense battle. They are matching each other stroke for stroke. And you see good quality, exciting badminton being played out here at the Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium as the 37th National Games Ladies Goa 2023 has commenced here in Goa today. In such a closely fought game, Neeraj, I think what it's going to come down is which of the two teams will hold their nerves at the end of it. Very closely fought game, I must say. This is brilliant. This is kind of badminton that you would travel miles to go to the stadium and watch. Arjun Falari and Mohamed Rehan are turning it on here at the Dr. SPM Stadium. 14-12 is the score in favor of Goa. In the second game against Maharashtra's Rambia and Shetty. There was an unforced error there from uh, Rehman and uh, very rightly Arjun coming and talking to his partner, telling him just to relax, take it point by point. Beautiful, beautiful shot by the boys in Maharashtra, picking their way to an even score of 14 between Maharashtra and Goa right now. No, it's three unforced errors on the trot here for Goa and kind of surrendering their advantage here are the host team. Maharashtra in the ascendancy now after a long time, the 15-14. This is what is the turning point one can say that the balance of the game is swinging the pendulum is swinging and it's now in favor of maharashtra as shetty and rambia built have built a two-point lead in the second game Continuous point for Maharashtra. They have picked up five points in a row here now. And they look well and truly in command of this game and the match, having won the first game as well. Another point for... Another point for Maharashtra there. 
as the lead has now moved on to four points. A very similar story to the first game as well. Goa did well at the start, but they allowed their opponents to then slowly get into the game. And this is a, the same story that's unfolding in the second set as well, as Maharashtra getting ready to serve. Unfortunately, this time Arjun's aim is a little off. That was out. And uh, just like that, it's a five-point lead for Team Maharashtra. And it looks like it's a set point and match point. Lead from leading the game to losing so many points back to back. It has been tough losing the momentum and the crowd has also gone a little silent and with that point as the officials indicate that the shuttle was well within bounds Maharashtra have won the second set 21-14 they've defeated Goa 21-14 and we have to say congratulations to the boys from Maharashtra on a well-fought game. The Goan boys can hold their heads up high as they did have a good game. But a couple of unforced errors meant that just as quickly as they had the lead, they ended up losing it as well. But of course, kudos and credits go to the Maharashtrans who fought really well and came back from behind in both games to win the game and uh, we will have a Neeraj who will be in conversation with Deep Rambhia and Akshan Shetty the winners of the game which was played on centre court we're going to try and have a conversation with them out here at the Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium on court one, we'll be having our next game on court one that's going to be with Rahul Deswal and Darshan Pujari, Rahul from Goa taking on Darshan Pujari from Maharashtra. We have the Goans men's team on one point and the Maharashtra men's team on two points. Earlier uh, in uh, the evening, Aryan Sheikh lost to Rohan Gurbani and of course uh, Arunesh then won it for Goa against Arya, uh, equaling the scores. However, in the doubles game that was just played, Goa unfortunately did not win and we now have Neeraj talking to the winners. Deep Rambia and Akshan Shetty, the Maharashtra pairing who have got the match uh, across to Goans. Uh, in the end, you all reeled off a lot of points continuously and got it across Goa. But Goa in the second game looked like uh, having a dis some important lead of four points. Uh, so, But you all turned the match around really well. How did you do it? I think uh, we had that confidence in ourselves and the match before we played against Assam, we also knew that there was a dri little bit of drift, more drift on that side. So accordingly, we changed our strategy and we tried to uh, keep more shuttle down so that we could get the attacking and that's how we converted these points. Yes, earlier against Assam as well, you all pulled off uh, that match uh, with 23-21 uh, and 22-20, uh, that set score. Does such matches give you a lot of confidence going forward as well? Yes, obviously, like, uh, you, if you win such ma matches, it's obviously a boost for uh, us in the tournament. Like, obviously, we won the first uh, round with Assam with a thrilling game. So, we were well prepared for uh, Goa this time uh, for the evening match and we had our strategy planned. Like, it was uh, to keep the shuttle down as much as possible and get the attack. So, we implemented it and uh, got the results. After Goa won the singles match uh, with Arunesh winning and uh, the tie was in balance at 1-1, how important was uh, it for the doubles pairing to you know give the lead back to your state? Actually, uh, it was a very important match for us as you know now we are in the lead for 2-1 so that our next players who are in line, they can play freely without much more pressure and this is like a crucial match for us. If we win this game, then uh, we qualify for the finals. Well done, uh, Deep and Akshan, and keep going. Uh, all the best to Team Maharashtra. So there you are, uh, Team Maharashtra have taken a 2-1 lead, and they are uh, all set uh, for their next game as well. So back to the commentator's box uh, from me here. Thank you. 
that was uh, Neeraj uh, speaking to Deep Rambhi and Akshan Shetty, the winners of doubles uh, match. And then the other match is going to start, that will be between Goa and Maharashtra. Yes, the players uh, Rahul Deshwal and Darshan Pujari. Rahul Deshwal from Goa and Darshan Pujari from Maharashtra. This is the 37th national games uh, played at Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium. बहुत ही बढ़िया मैच एक के बाद एक मैच का लुफ्त आनंद उठाने को यहाँ मिल रहा है और अगला जो मैच अगली जी मैच होने वाली है वो राहुल देशवाल from Goa and Darshan Pujari from Maharashtra. Definitely जो आगे की मैच बहुत ही बढ़िया होने वाली है और मेंस सिंगल में ये आज का तीसरा मुकाबला रहेगा। And the next game on uh, court one will see Rahul Deswal from Goa taking on Darsha Pujari. And as you heard in uh, the interview conducted by Neeraj with uh, Deep and Akshan, both of them said that this was a very crucial game for the Maharashtrans to win as it would allow the next set of players to play more freely. So uh, here's hoping that the pressure will not get to the Goan players. And if they come back, then the next game, which would be between Tejan Falari and Arunesh taking on Viplav and Viraj Kavle, will be very, very interesting. So here's hoping that we have an exciting game of badminton, which is all about to begin between Rahul Deswal from Goa taking on Darsha Pujari from Maharashtra. इस तरह पुजारी दर्श का खाता खुल चुका है एक जीरो इस स्कोर फिलहाल फिलहाल जो स्कोर 2-0 इस द स्कोर द मैच जो चल रहा है वो देशवाल राहुल और पुजारी दर्श फ्रॉम गोवा एंड महाराष्ट्र बहुत टीम सर प्ले सो बहुत ही बढ़िया एक के बाद एक मैच का आनंद लुफ्त यहाँ उठाने को मिल रहा है The score moves to 1-2, 2-1, 1-2, go out to serve. Three, one is the score. Two, three. बहुत ही बढ़िया मैच पॉइंट की हिसाब से चल रहा है बहुत ही जल्द पॉइंट्स मिल रहे हैं जब आहिस्ता शुरुआत होती है तो आगे का खेल बहुत ही बढ़िया होता है ऐसा हमारा मानना है देखेंगे आगे क्या होता है गोवा एंड महाराष्ट्र के बीच ये सिंगल मुकाबला एकल मुकाबला चल रहा है Beautiful smash from Rahul. Score four two. एक के बाद एक जबरदस्त smashes यहाँ देखने को मिले और फिलहाल जो score 
इस मैच का चार दो महाराष्ट्र रिजर्व स्कोर गोस टू फाइव टू तीन पॉइंट्स की बढ़त बनाए हुए महाराष्ट्र के प्लेयर and uh, maharashtra rushing on to an early lead in this uh, fourth game out here uh, taking place on center court between uh, rahul deswal from goa and darshan pujari 62 to maharashtra right now and another point to maharashtra darshan pujari seems to be in complete control of the game and that is wide is what the official says the chair umpire also concurring 37 the score with goa to serve and that is an silly unforced error on your own serve you should look to capitalize and win your points giving away easy points is not going to be a recipe for a solution of a good solution out here it's just going to be a recipe for disaster good set of uh, volleys and smashes which sees rahul deswal coming out victorious but he still trails 5-8 but it is going to be his serve and uh, joining us in uh, the commentary box i've got neeraj who's going to be leading you through the rest of this game teen points ka izafa स्कोर फाइव एट फाइव एट इज द स्कोर एट द मोमेंट तीन पॉइंट्स का इजाफा Nine five is the score. The beautiful smudge, which was away from the court. Bilal, your score. Chal raha hai wo nine five. Pujari Darshan nine and our own Govan Rahul five. Maharashtra to serve. Sim, simple. Ball there. Six nine is the score. Ten six. Ten six is the score at the moment. Uh, seven ten. Score goes to seven ten. डॉक्टर श्यामा प्रसाद स्टेडियम में बैडमिंटन सिंगल मैच जारी है गोवा इज सिर्फ दो अंकों से पीछे है सिर्फ एक पॉइंट का फासला नाइन टेन इज द स्कोर एट द मोमेंट बहुत ही जबरदस्त मैच यहाँ चल रहा है डॉक्टर श्यामा प्रसाद स्टेडियम गोवा टू साउथ On 
11 to Maharashtra's uh, Tarsh Pujari and uh, Goa's Rahul Deswal fighting it out. He got nine points. This is the game number, match number four in this team championship tussle between Maharashtra and Goa. Maharashtra already won two matches in this uh, rubber. They lead 2-1. And Rahul Deswal of Goa will have to somehow find a way to stop Darshan Pujari. Otherwise, Maharashtra will win this encounter by taking an unassailable lead of three matches. So, it's absolutely crucial for Goa's Rahul Deswal to stop Maharashtra's Darshan Pujari. But so far, the match looks very, very closely contested affair as both the players have displayed good skills so far. Darshan to serve. Rahul has been hitting the net more too often than he would like to. And that's how he has been losing the points. Once again, it's three in a row now that he has not managed to send the shuttle into the opponent half. The unforced errors are piling up. 13 points now to Maharashtra. Ten, thirteen. <laughs> Just before this, Maharashtra's Deep and Akshan Shetty scored a victory in the doubles encounter over Arjun and Muhammad to take a two-one lead for their state. And now it's Darshan Pujari of Maharashtra slugging it out with Goa's Rahul Deswal who's serving. Good serve there by Rahul and Darshan Pujari wanted to make an early return but uh, then managed to get it across. Good confident net play by Maharashtra in the end. The Goan ended up making the error in return. Rahul Deswal has suddenly improved his performance a bit and this good positivity coming through as he moves around well. On the other hand, Darshan Pujari has tried to focus a bit on net play. And so far, it's just a point that separates the two players. Pujari of Maharashtra is in the lead. 14-13 is the score right now in this first game of the fourth match. एक के बाद एक जबरदस्त बैडमिंटन 
खेल का प्रदर्शन करते हुए ये दोनों ही खिलाड़ी स्कोर 15-13, पुजारी दर्शन 15 एंड देशवाल राहुल इज ऑन थर्टीन महाराष्ट्र टू सब दो पॉइंट्स की बढ़त स्कोर सिक्सटीन थर्टीन डॉक्टर श्यामा प्रसाद स्टेडियम के इस कोर्ट वन पे मैच जबरदस्त मैच शुरू है और दूरदर्शन के माध्यम से ये मैच का लाइव प्रसारण आपके यहाँ हम लेके आए हैं बहुत ही अच्छा लगता है जब दोनों ही खिलाड़ी अच्छा प्रदर्शन करते हैं और जो स्पेक्टेटर्स है वो उन्हें उतने ही जोर से दाद देते हैं सो स्कोर एट द मोमेंट इज सिक्सटीन थर्टीन गोवा ऑलरेडी वन वन ऑफ द मैच इन दिस टीम चैंपियनशिप एनकाउंटर अगेंस्ट महाराष्ट्र अरुणेश एच स्टंड आर्या भिवपात की ट्वेंटी वन एटीन ट्वेंटी वन थर्टीन इन द सेकेंड मैच एंड दैट वॉज एन इंस्पिरेशनल परफॉर्मेंस इन दी फर्स्ट मैन सिंगल्स नाउ लेट्स राहुल कैन गेट इंस्पायर्ड फ्रॉम दैट एंड प्रोड्यूस वन ऑफ इज ओन फोर्टीन सिक्सटीन स्कोर दो पॉइंट्स का फासला इस तरह और एक पॉइंट की बढ़त लेते हुए फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन इज इसको द लोकल फैंस अर्जिंग राहुल देसवाल टू कीप गोइंग एंड नॉट गिव अप It's very important as the games turn on a very fine margin. We saw earlier in the doubles, in the second game, Goa had a four-point lead, but then Goa surrendered the advantage as Maharashtra reeled off eight or nine points on the trot to win, go on to win the second game, and with that, the doubles match as well. So here, Rahul Deswal has to be very, very focused. सेवेंटीन फिफ्टीन महाराष्ट्र टू सब body attack of uh, pujari darshan pujari gets him a point is placing and saving his energy rahul pujari is it's a very patient strategy by the maharashtrian players so far bringing the smash into his play after a long time and gets easy point takes his total and maharashtra's total points total in this first uh, game to 19 for four point lead here Game point, Darshan Pujari. 2015 is the score in this first game in favour of Maharashtra against Goa's Rahul Deswal. Maharashtra have pocketed the first game. It's been 
simple if you compare it to some high intensity games we have seen earlier in the day so it's been a very comfortable outing so far for Maharashtra's Darshan Pujari against Rahul Deswal winning the first game 21-15 Maharashtra team leading by two matches, victories to one. Maharashtra won the first singles match of the day with Rohan Gurbani defeating Ayan Sheikh 21-10, 21-9. However, Arunesh H struck parity for Goa as he won 21-18, 21-13 against Arya Bhivapataki and restored parity for Goa. Arjun Falari and Mohammad Rehan are gave a good account of themselves and uh, in their outing against uh, Deep Prambia and Akshan Shetty they went down 16-21, 14-21 thus Maharashtra took a 2-1 lead in this team championship match against Goa and here we are in the fourth match that's the men's singles Darshan Pujari won the first game and is serving now to start the second game second set ki shuruat ho chuki hai aur score Score two zero two zero is the score. Deswal Rahul to Darshan Pujari one. जैसे जैसे आप मैच आगे बढ़ेगा, वैसे वैसे खेल का आनंद और जबरदस्त हो जाएगा और जब भी गोवा को गोवा के खिलाड़ी अच्छा प्रदर्शन करते हैं तो ऑडियंस उन्हें चेयर अप करते हैं देखी जाती है सो so यहाँ का जो मैच शुरू है ऑडियंस के माध्यम से उतना ही प्रेम उतना ही अच्छा प्रोत्साहन खिलाड़ी को मिल रहा है ब्यूटीफुल स्मैच बट यस ब्यूटीफुल स्मैच फ्रॉम राहुल थ्री लॉ इज स्कोर थ्री लॉ राहुल is leading by three points Dr. Shama Prasad Stadium ke court ek se a match ka sidha prasaran aap dekh rahe ho Durdarshan ke maadhim se aur sidha prasaran yaha hum Rahul Deswal, what a fantastic four-point lead he has now built in this second game. A very, very important phase of play here. This is a good lead for the Goan player as well. Five nil to Goa in the second game. This is something of a pleasant surprise, and that's how Rahul Deswal can lift himself up and go along, taking confidence from this handsome start. That error and seen a point to Maharashtra. One five, Maharashtra down in the second game after having won the first. 21-15, Darshan Pujari to serve. Our eight point from Goa ke khate mein. 6-1, 6-1 is the score. Goa to serve. Yeah. 
टू सिक्स स्कोर पहुंचा है टू सिक्स पे चार पॉइंट्स का इजाफा डिफरेंस ऑफ फोर पॉइंट्स महाराष्ट्र टू साउथ ब्यूटीफुल प्लेसिंग शॉट फ्रॉम पुजारी थ्री सिक्स इज द स्कोर Astra's Darshan Pujari got a little carried away and put a strong amount of force behind that shot. Thus, the shuttle went out of play and Rahul Deswal now leads by 4.73. But then this serve, he will be absolutely kicking himself for that error, glaring error there on his own serve. Not expected of a player who's been a regular and at national games as well. This time, Darshan Pujari makes an error of his own and Rahul Deswal clenches his fist. He is all pumped up and a player of Goa having taken four-point lead over a player of Maharashtra should definitely be pumped up and it's a good confident start for Rahul Deswal in the second game. Good smash from uh, Maharashtra. Score moves to 5-8. Zabardast Mukabala shuru hai yaha ke stadium pe. Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee. Ek ke baad ek points ke badhai hote huye 5-8. Difference of 3 points. Aur ek khas baat kehna hai mai chaata huye dar ki jab bhi Goa ke khiladi ko points milta hai tab poore stadium mein unko cheer up diya jata hai. और उसका हौसला बढ़ाते हैं सो so, यही बात अगर अंत तक चली तो गोवा की विजय डेफिनेटली पक्की है कुल मिला के चार कोड पे यहाँ फिलहाल मैच शुरू है डबल सिंगल्स और वीमेंस Nicely placed, but away. Six eight is the score. Two points ka fasla. Maharashtra six. Goa eight. That's a very easy point for Maharashtra's Darshan Pujari. He had lot of space to place his smash. Not a full-fledged smash as well. So he is now maneuvering this contest. It's easy for him now. He looks like he will take command of this game. Eight points all now in the second game. And the body language says it all. Darshan Pujari looks very confident. While Rahul Deswal is looking like he is a bit tired as well. So let's see how Rahul can cope up. The humidity is a factor. Both players have lost a lot of salts through their sweat. But then at badminton, you have to have reserves of energy. Four continuous points now for Darshan Pujari is up to 10. 10-8, ten, he was 6. And Darshan, when Rahul was leading by 8 points to 6. This fifth point in a row now, it's 11-8 for Maharashtra's uh, Darshan Pujari who is now looking so much confident and in control and calm to run away with this contest as well. And that would mean Maharashtra would win this 
team match against Goa and enter the finals of the team championship. इस तरह से जो मैच फिलहाल शुरू है यहाँ स्टेडियम पे ऐसा लगता है कि जैसे नीरज ने कहा कि ह्यूमिडिटी फैक्टर या कारण होता हुआ बहुत ही ज़्यादा ह्यूमिडिटी है और जब खेल का आनंद हम लोग लेते हैं तो पता चलता है कि ह्यूमिडिटी का असर हमारे खिलाड़ी के ऊपर भी हो रहा है बहुत बढ़िया मैच यहाँ चल रही है और फिलहाल पॉइंट्स इलेवन एट महाराष्ट्र उत्सव Beautiful smash, but on night nine eleven is the score. Darshan Pujari was trying to fool Rahul Deswal with that cross court smash and wanted to try convert it into a drop cross court drop shot, but he couldn't pull it off and conceded that point. Wild from Rahul Deswal in trying to do the overhead backhand, he lost the sense of direction, and it's Maharashtra who take up their points tally to 12, 12-9. Rahul, rather Darshan to serve. was a nice smash from maharashtra score 49 ek ek points ka izafa karte hue maharashtra ne abhi 5 points ki badhat le li hai very very comfortable ride for darshan pujari there was a semblance of fight earlier in the game when uh, uh, rahul was holding a lead of 2 points but then uh, darshan pujari has turned it around magnificently and it's now so simple and so easy for him just to focus on the basics and not do anything silly he holds a seven point lead now that's commanding enough for maharashtra to pull this match off That's out. He would not like that uh, at all. Uh, his Darshan Pujari had a lot of space to place that shuttle into the points area, but uh, that was uh, inside the lobby and it's out. So Rahul gets a point. Goa get a point. Makes double digits. Seventeen ten in favor of Maharashtra in the second game. Early in the morning, Maharashtra defeated Assam. Now on the verge of beating Goa in this afternoon session. Once again, his radar has gone a little bit off, and his direction accuracy is deserted. Uh, Darshan Pujari, and as such, uh, its points are coming Goa's way. is very inconsistent uh, run of plays uh, goa has shown so far earlier in this game goa had a little bit of a commanding spell but that was only in the time he was uh, around the 6 to 8 point mark but after that it's been all maharashtra 
who has risen from 6 to 19 in no time. Match point now. Goa saves one match point. Rahul Deswal inches way forward with 13 points to 20. Another match point saved. How many match points can Rahul Deswal save here? That will be very interesting. Two in a row for now. The score is 14-20 in the second game. Darshan Pujari has uh, won the first game 21-15 and he is now up by six points at 20-14. It's Rahul Deswal who will be serving for Goa. At 14.20. Go out to serve. 14.20. And there you go, Maharashtra's Darshan Pujari has won this game and the match. 21-15, 21-14 and with that Maharashtra has won this rubber 3-1 and made their way into the finals of the team championship. Earlier today uh, in the morning session, Maharashtra defeated Assam and now Maharashtra has got the better of Goa 3-1. We still have one more matchup in this rubber. It's the doubles coming your way in a few moments now. Tejan Falari and Arunesh H of Goa will take on Biplav and Viraj Kuwale. But before that, we have Sham Gaukar waiting for the winner of uh, this singles match. And that's uh, Darshan Pujari of Maharashtra, who will be shortly talk to the Doordarshan. the national broadcaster of the national games which has commenced here in Goa, the 37th edition. So we are all set to hear Darshan Pujari in conversation with Sham Gaonkar. And I'm sure he'll, he'll be absolutely thrilled to have sent Maharashtra into the finals of the team championship, having one against Goa and it's over to Sham Gaonkar who will talk to Darshan Pujari. बरसा मैच अपने ला पहला में आलिए इतना महाराष्ट्र जा दर्शन पुजारी हाँ जेठी वन टच हल्ले लाया नहीं त्याना त्याने जो खेला इतना केला है तो बगाया ला खरात प्रेक्षक ने सुस्पूर्ता सदा दिला सर्वात प्रथम तुम्ही ही मैच जिकला तुम जब कुप को अभी नंदर काय वाट्टे so, एक अंदर आमी जब एक खेल सा आसवाद खेलते होते थे, वैसा वाटले कि तुम्हीं खुपत स्लो पने खेलते होते थे, आने नंतर पिकअप किला, काय राज होता? स्लो मी स्टार्टिंग लाये कोर्ट कंडीशन शटल से कंट्रोल साथी मी स्लो होते थे, नंतर एकदम अलग अंदाज़ आला शटल से मम्मी माजा बेस पकड़ ला आने मम्मी। So सदैव गोवेची ह्यूमिडिटी बगीत ले, तब खूबत जास्ता है, असम अलग वाटे, तुम जो काय मन्ना? ओ खरस को भी ह्यूमिडिटी है, मानो 
तुम्ही आता महाराष्ट्र एकूण तीन मॅचेस तुम्ही जिंकला फायनलमध्ये पोहोचला काय म्हणायचं आहे तुम्हाला आम्ही म्हणजे खूप लकी फील करतो की आम्ही पहिल्यांदाच फायनलला पोहोचलो आहे आणि आम्हाला आणि आम्ही टायटलसाठी पण ट्राय करू आणि साधारण मॅचमध्ये पोहोचल्यानंतर किती मेहनत घ्यावी लागते जे प्रतिस्पर्धी असो गोव्याचा असो इथ किंवा इतर राज्यात असा किती मेहनत घ्यावी लागते नेहमी कोर्टवर उतरल्यावर मी माझा हंड्रेड पर्सेंटच देतो कुठली टीम असू दे काही मी माझं बघत नाही मी माझा हंड्रेड पर्सेंट देतो आणि फुल ट्राय करतो माझं पुन्हा एकदा आपलं खूप खूप अभिनंदन महाराष्ट्राचं खास अभिनंदन धन्यवाद थँक्यू व्हेरी मच तर हे होते दर्शन पुजारी ज्याने एक उत्स्फूर्त असा खेळ करून आम्हा सर्वांना मंत्रमुग्ध केलं खूप खूप धन्यवाद धन्यवाद Yes, uh, Darshan Pujari there, very humble and he uh, has uh, emphasized that you have to work hard uh, no matter which opponents you are playing against, whether it's Goa, whether it's uh, Assam or any other uh, opponent at national games. You never know, it's a huge uh, competition, a very prestigious games and the team that gives their best on the court will definitely come uh winning out there with flying colors and now the focus uh, shifts to this final match of the day in the badminton team championship it's going to be goa's tejan farari and arunesh h uh, taking on uh, viplav kuare and viraj kuare of maharashtra this is there's a lot of pride uh, to be played for here uh, as maharashtra has already Uh, made it to the finals by winning 3-1 but then uh, in sport uh, pride matters as well and if there's no other prize in the competition there's definitely some pride uh, pride to rede redeem here for the hosts uh, we all know about Tejan Fulari a very very talented player from Goa and coming from a badminton family he is uh, known to uh, show good skills and temperament as well and uh, on the other side is uh, arunesh h uh, rather on goa's team uh, we have arunesh h who has uh, won his singles match earlier today he defeated maharashtra's arya bhu pathaki 21 18 21 13 and as such arunesh will be having his uh, confident uh, confidence at a very high level so that will help this uh, doubles encounter that confidence should also rub on to tejan falari and the goan duo can uh, work uh, some surprise uh, of sorts uh, to upset the kuares who we all know had done really well against uh, assam in the earlier game uh, in the morning session so so far it's been a beautiful day of uh, wonderful badminton here on the opening uh, in the opening event of the 37th national games as you must be all aware that this is the uh, games that has uh, more sports disciplines than any other games held in the history uh, almost 100 year history of the games which had uh, initially uh, been held uh, way back in 1924 the first time that it was held in delhi and now here in goa we are holding it uh, uh, after 99 years Uh, since the inception of the national games and we have begun today uh, to create history in goa as uh, the government of goa believes that uh, this uh, games will have lasting legacy and epic impact on the culture that uh, we have in goa not as renowned for multi sports uh, reputation than it is for football and cricket and uh, some other aspects but now in goa the chief minister uh, dr pramod sawant earlier in the morning said that uh, sports will also be known to be associated in goa and it will be sun sea sand and sports that will be the new transformation for the state so stage is all set here now for this final doubles match uh, of the day it's goa to serve arunesh to serve against uh, maharashtra's uh, viplav and viraj kuali
डबल मैच का आरंभ हो चुका है टू जीरो इज स्कोर एट मोमेंट very very confident start here by the maharashtra boys the kuale duo viraj and uh, viplav and they have taken a 3-1 lead so far two three goas arunesh to serve need a very special performance here by the goans to upset the strong maharashtra team here for to maharashtra to serve good smash by uh, tejan falari cramping the maharashtra player for room and drawing an error from him for all goa strike parity it's four points all need a good start here a good spell here rather of points for goa it's another point to the kitty 5-4 it is for goa फाइव इच इज द स्कोर एट द मोमेंट जबरदस्त मैच पॉइंट टू पॉइंट मैच चल रहा है फुर्तीला खेल यहाँ देखने को मिल रहा है बोध टीम्स अब प्लेइंग बहुत ही बढ़िया खेल दिखाते हुए लॉर्ड ऑफ हाई फ्लाइंग स्मैश इज गोइंग अराउंड शटल बीइंग हिट मर्सिलेसली by the players and that's how the doubles matches provide a lot of entertainment very explosive action and if the shuttle is in the zone for a smash most of the teams go for that the smashing action out there here at the shama prasad mukherjee stadium this time arunesh uh, smashes one uh, perfectly and it's six points all in this first game of this doubles encounter जबरदस्त स्मैशिश फ्रॉम महाराष्ट्र स्कोर मूव्स टू सेवेंथ इच बोथ द टीम्स आर प्लेइंग नाइस डिफेंसिव गेम Away. The score moves to eight seven. Goa eight, Maharashtra seven. Goa to south. फिर से एक बार away. Eight each. फिलहाल जो score दो नहीं match eight each.
बहुत ही जोरदार धमाका करते हुए महाराष्ट्र के खिलाड़ी और स्कोर लेके गए नौ आठ जबरदस्त खेल का प्रदर्शन यहां देखने को मिलता है और नेट नाइन इंच नाइन ऑल इज स्कोर एट द मोमेंट क्वाले ब्रदर्स टेन गोवा नाइन Eleven nine is the score at the moment. This is a match. Women's single. बहुत ही बढ़िया अंदर से खेला हुआ है मैच गोवा और महाराष्ट्र के बीच फलारी और कुआले आज का ये आखिरी मैच कोर्ट एक पे खेला जा रहा है अर्जुन फलारी और मोहम्मद रेहान और सॉरी तेजन फलारी और अरुणेश एच और विप्लव क्वाले एंड विराज क्वाले दोनों ही बीच जबरदस्त मुकाबला देखने को मिल रहा है दो पॉइंट्स का फासला फिलहाल क्वाले ब्रदर्स लीडिंग बाय टू पॉइंट्स महाराष्ट्र इज लीडिंग बाय टू पॉइंट्स महाराष्ट्र टू सौ इलेवन नाइन जबरदस्त स्मैश यहां देखने को मिलते हुए और खेल का आनंद उठाते हुए यहां के सब ऑडियंस दस ग्यारह जबरदस्त स्मैश फ्रॉम कोले बारह दस ट्वेल्व टेन इज द स्कोर एट द मोमेंट हर एक पॉइंट के लिए झगड़ रहे दोनों ही टीम के प्लेयर्स 13-10 इज द स्कोर 13-10 महाराष्ट्र 13 गोवा 10 एक अलग अंदाज से मैच चलता हुआ 14-10 14-10 इज द स्कोर फिफ्टीन टेन लीड बाय फाइव पॉइंट्स महाराष्ट्र लीड बाय फाइव पॉइंट्स पांच अंकों की बढ़त लेते हुए फिफ्टीन टेन इज द स्कोर द मोमेंट महाराष्ट्र और इस तरह से एक अंक का इजाफा गोवा के और इलेवन फिलहाल ग्यारह पंद्रह एक के बाद एक जबरदस्त खेल का प्रदर्शन यहाँ देखते हुए महाराष्ट्र की टीम से सिक्सटीन इलेवन पांच रनों पांच पॉइंट्स का इजाफा लेते हुए Maharashtra are in total control here 16 points to 11 that's the point score so far It is Delhi versus Karnataka on court number 2 Good pressure there by Maharashtra they are relentless in their pursuit and take their points total to 17 Goa are on 11 points in this final match of the day Beautiful smash from Maharashtra, 18-12.
just three points away from their first set victory. Beautiful smashing there by Maharashtra. It's 19-12. Jitne zabardast the smash, utna hi zabardast the defense. Zabrasa body smash from Goa. S score 13-19. Goa to serve. Zabrasa match. Chalta hua. 20-13. 20-13 is the score. A game point for Maharashtra. बहुत ही बढ़िया स्मैश गोवा की ओर से ब्यूटीफुल स्मैश एंड दे वन द फर्स्ट साइड 21-14 इसे अंदाज से खेलते हुए ये मैच का अगला सेट जरूर रोमांचकारी रहेगा पहला सेट ऑलरेडी महाराष्ट्र ने जीता हुआ है 21-14 पे Yes, it's a very comprehensive performance by the Maharashtra team here of uh, Viraj Kuale and uh, Viplav Kuale. They won it 21-14 against Goa's Tejan Farari and Arunesh uh, H. If one analyzes their performance, it's been a very confident uh, approach uh, by the Maharashtra, Maharashtra duo. They have not done anything spectacular and yet they have won it very easily. So it tells you that they are supremely confident in what they do. Their basics are strong and they work very, very uh, coordinated uh, approach they have as a doubles duo. Whereas for Goa, you can see at times uh, their communication may not be right. And that means there's a bit of a disjointed performance. The team not gelling together and that can be seen. But at the same time, there are a lot of errors that uh, creep into the game as uh, there's not much uh, sustained pressure or rather the, the habit of adapting to sustained pressure so here they have a strong opponent and against whom they have to definitely punch above their weight so let's begin the second game now Maharashtra have a very good culture in badminton and the players are getting a lot of exposure as well. Two one is the score. Little away, do do to all. To all is the score at the moment. This is second game. First game was won by Maharashtra. It's three two in favor of Maharashtra now. Can the Goans come up with something special here? It's very, very easy to succumb to the pressure and when there's, when the chips are down, it's very easy to go negative. But then if you can come up with something spectacular and just fight it out, then 
fans will remember you and so you know, and you may not be aware it could somehow inspire the youngsters to take up the sport as well because that's the fighting ability that everybody loves to see and that fighting ability also lights up the sport in its finest glory so in goa as we host the national games most of coming back to the point the in goa as we host the national games the idea is that the more and more youngsters pick up the sport in future and give their best kul do points ki badhat lete hue goa ke khiladi score 6 4 beautiful smash from maharashtra 5 6 is the score at the moment dono hi teams 100% dene ke irade se khelte hue 7 5 smash from maharashtra 6 7 is the score एक के बाद एक जबरदस्त स्मैश के बाद ये पॉइंट्स महाराष्ट्र के खाते में यस इट्स अ रियल टेस्ट एज महाराष्ट्र गाइस गो ऑन रिलेंटलेसली स्मैशिंग एंड इट्स द डिफेंसिव एबिलिटी ऑफ तेजन इज पुट अंडर टेस्ट एंड महाराष्ट्र गॉट सक्सेसफुल एट दैट 8 7 This time, Tejan gave it back. A good smash from Tejan Ferrari, and Goa have inched up their way to nine points, leading Maharashtra by two. Three points lead now for Goa. It's ten seven. Both the teams engaging in warfare. Their smashes flying thick and half, thick and fast at both the ends, and that's also exciting to watch when both the teams engage in a very attacking state of play. Ten seven. Goa leads 11-7 and take a deserving break here having a sip of water getting the dose of advice from the coaches and if they can sustain this pressure and build their lead going forward continue in the same way then Goa can strike level in this match first game was backed by the maharashtrians can goa respond to it in a right way the fans of goan badminton will definitely be wanting that to happen can tejan and arunesh make it happen is the question now and we will wait and watch Maharashtra already through to the finals having taken 3-1 lead in the overall rubber
13-7, a six-point lead, and Goa have to be absolutely delighted with what's happening in this game here. Six-point lead, but then just cut short by one point as Arunesh errs on that return. Well left there by Goa. Back to six points lead. 14-8 is the score in the second game in favor of Goa. It's again short, very short return. The top of the net and easily smashed away by Maharashtra. can see how confident the Goa players are getting. Tejan and Arunesh all pumped up. That was a lapse in concentration there. Tejan completely missing out on the lines there. Beautiful smash from Maharashtra and score moves to 11, 16, 5 uh, points ki izafa. The Jabardast match here in the Shama Prasad Stadium and the two teams बैडमिंटन खेल का आनंद उठाते हुए गोवा वर्सेस महाराष्ट्र स्कोर 11 16 महाराष्ट्र 11 गोवा 16 फिर एक बार बहुत ही बढ़िया नतीतुली स्मैश यहाँ देखने को मिली 12, 16, 12, 16 इस डब स्कोर एट मोमेंट महाराष्ट्र टू साउथ एक के बाद एक जबरदस्त मैच के बाद तीसरा मैच थोड़ा सा बाहर यस दैट वाज लिल Wavered there by Tejan Ferrari. He has to keep his cool, not get carried away by just trying to hit all the returns. Here, Maharashtrians pouncing on the opportunity there and getting their act together as well as they have cut down the lead to just two points now. Goa had built a little steam and had a six-point lead, but now it's down to just two. Maharashtra 14, Goa 16 in the second game. बहुत ही अच्छा कमबैक करते हुए 17 14 इस इसको तीन पॉइंट्स का इजाफा ब्यूटीफुल स्मैश फ्रॉम महाराष्ट्र 15 17 अवे फ्रॉम Court. 16 17 is the score. 16 17, just one point difference. Bohati Badiya smash from Go on player. Yes, the score moves to 18 16. 15 points 
पीछे नाइनटीन सिक्सटीन पहला सेट विन की कगार पर गोवन टीम ट्वेंटी सिक्सटीन सेवेंटीन सेवेंटीन ट्वेंटी इज द स्क्वायर द मोमेंट बहुत ही अच्छी मैच का आनंद हमारे दर्शक उठाते हुए अब वे अगेन एक पॉइंट का इजाफा एटीन ट्वेंटी और इस तरह से गोवा की टीम ने सेकंड सेट जीत लिया है एक एक वेरी गुड कम बैक देयर बाय गोवा टू विन द सेकंड गेम एंड मेक इट ऑल स्क्वायर हियर इट्स वन ऑल इन दिस बेस्ट ऑफ थ्री मैच द डबल स्पेयर ऑफ तेजन फरारी एंड अरुणेश found themselves in a good position in the second game and they really did well to finish it although maharashtrians were fighting back and cutting on that lead but in the end it was uh, 21-18 the score in the second game good enough for winning the second game and it's one all can go a sustain this momentum it's no doubt about it that both the players are very talented and are facing the confident duo of viraj and viplav kuale of maharashtra at the other end they have won their matches against uh, assam के बाद एक जबरदस्त स्मैश तीसरे सेट के पहले ही पॉइंट में स्कोर वन जीरो महाराष्ट्र वन गोवा जीरो बहुत ही दिलचस्प इस सेट होने वाला है और एक पॉइंट का इजाफा टू जीरो महाराष्ट्र इज लीडिंग बाय टू पॉइंट्स टू जीरो इज द स्कोर एट द मोमेंट बहुत ही जबरदस्त मैच earlier in the morning the viplav and viraj uh, duo had uh, in fact gone down to the assam team in a very very close three setter match they had won the first game 1821 but uh, went down 2118 2114 in the next two games against assam and here they are level on the game score it's one all and now they have a three point lead in this third and final game of this last match of the day Four point lead now to Maharashtra in this third game. What has happened? Goa had all the momentum. Aye. So it's Goa who had all the momentum when going forward. Uh, Maharashtra have suddenly taken a strong grip on the third game, leading five points to nil so far.
little bit fumble in Maharashtra. So score five one. Go out to serve. Six one is the score. Maharashtra lead by five points. Difference of five points. बहुत ही नतीतुली स्मैश फ्रॉम महाराष्ट्र सेवेन वन lot of errors coming into the game now for goa and maharashtra are profiting on that 8-1 is now the score good smash from goa i score 2-8 one point ka izafa arunesh is really alert there and pounced on the chance there to score a point points so two in a row now for goa first time in this third game and is a fight back on the cards but to know the return is very very short and uh, maharashtra shuttler really puts an easy finish there to that point niraj khel to zabardast ho raha hai लेकिन दोनों ही टीम के प्लेयर्स बहुत ही कूल दिखाई देते हुए यस द मोमेंटम इज रियली गॉट अ बिट स्लो डाउन बट दैट सूट्स आई थिंक बोथ साइड्स द टायर्डनेस माइट हैव सेट इन एंड द प्रोसेस द टेम्पो हैज लिल बीन लेस नाउ इन दिस थर्ड गेम बट दैट डजेंट मैटर एज फॉर महाराष्ट्र दे आर गेटिंग इन द पॉइंट्स देर दे हैव बिल्ट अराउंड फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स पॉइंट्स लीड Goa are now Goa are now in need of uh, points uh, in a hurry otherwise uh, this would be over in no time it's 11-4 in favor of uh, Maharashtra in the third and decisive game in this uh, last match of the day थर्ड सेट शुरू हो चुका है और थर्ड सेट का स्कोर इलेवन फो कोर्ट चेंज बहुत ही जबरदस्त मैच यहां देखने को मिल रही है और आज के दिन की ये डबल्स में आखिरी मैच रहेगी जहाँ तक मैच का सवाल है यहाँ सारे दर्शक आनंद लेते हुए और आनंद लेते हुए इस मैच में महाराष्ट्र की बढ़त बनाई हुई है ग्यारह चार Beautiful smash from Maharashtra. Bara Char. Twelve four is the score. Final score. And now coming from quarter number three, a tie between Andhra Pradesh and West Bengal. Ladies and gentlemen, we want you all to witness this match. And coming all the way from Andhra Pradesh. Well left by Maharashtra. The score 14-5. Chowdha Pach ka score filhal. Good smash from Goa. Score 6-14. Very good smash there by Goa, and the score six fourteen 
has to go up in a hurry because 14 6 means 8 point lead and this time another point for Maharashtra makes it a 9 point lead and no doubt the Maharashtra have taken a strong grip on this proceedings and it's going to be some miraculous uh, development that could save Goa from going down in this match. Seven fifteen, Arunesh to serve. It looks like Maharashtra will reign supreme here. Not much, not much is seen to be coming from the other end yet there's a point here for Goa and it takes the score to 8 it's a very short serve there and giving a point gifting a point rather to Maharashtra is Goa 17-8 in favor of Maharashtra make it 18-8 the errors are coming thick and fast what can be the reason here? We have seen a lot of errors from the Goa side. Is it lack of skill or is it lack of composure? It's a tough question to answer. Good smash here and it was absolutely regulation smash as well as uh, the shuttle was there to be hit anywhere inside the opponent court Tejan doesn't miss those this time it's Maharashtra's turn to put that away and they do it without any problem the score goes on to 19 for Maharashtra Goa on 10 so it's just a two point match now in fact it's a match point for Maharashtra and it's game set and match for Maharashtra 21-14 18-21 21-10 Maharashtra make it 4-1 in this second match of the team championships league stage and they already placed themselves in the final and will be fighting for the title jahan tak jeet ka sawal hai jaise neeraj ne kaha char baar ye maharashtra ki team final jeeti hue hai aur jo abhi jo khel aap logo ne dekha aap tv ke madhyam se dekh liya ek zabardast match yahan khel khela aur finally jo महाराष्ट्र की टीम है उन लोगों ने एक जबरदस्त जीत हासिल की हुई द स्कोर वॉज ट्वेंटी वन टेन और जो विनिंग टीम है महाराष्ट्र से विपल क्वाले एंड वीराज क्वाले उनसे बातचीत कर रहे हैं हमारे नीरज प्रभु कुछ ही पलों में सो एक जबरदस्त मैच का आगाज जब होता है तो खेल का माहौल बहुत ही बना रहता है और यही खेल का माहौल वही जो टेम्पो रहता है वो अपने आप एक अच्छा फिलहाल नीरज प्रभु बातें कर रहे विपल क्वाले और विराज क्वाले से ओवर टू नीरज कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन्स uh, आपका परफॉर्मेंस बहुत ही अच्छा रहा आसाम uh, के साथ आपका जो मैच था वो बहुत ही क्लोज मार्जिन uh, से आपके हाथ से छूट गया था लेकिन इस बार आप uh, आपने कोई चांस नहीं लिया और गोवा को हरा दिया है uh, किस तरह से आपकी स्ट्रैटेजी थी इस मैच में आने के पहले क्या प्लान बनाया था यहाँ पे मतलब जैसे यहाँ पे स्टेडियम में बहुत ड्रिफ्ट है तो उसके वजह से डिफेंस बहुत डिफिकल्ट हो रहा है तो इसके लिए अटैक रखने की हम लोग ने पूरी कोशिश की और होपफुल मतलब वो वर्क करना था तो कर दिया 
फर्स्ट गेम आपके फेवर में रहा क्वाइट कॉम्प्रीहेंसिवली यू ऑल वन द फर्स्ट गेम बट इन द सेकेंड गेम द गोवा पैरिंग मेड फाइट बैक एंड दे वन द गेम सो वॉट वॉज गोइंग थ्रू योर माइंड वॉट वर यू टेलिंग ईच अदर एक्चुअली फ्रॉम द वन साइड इट इज लिटिल बिट फास्ट सो हम लोग को हम फटाफट मतलब जो फ्लैट और ये सब था वो हम लोग बहुत बाहर जा रहे थे हम लोग ने वही ट्राई किया कि नेक्स्ट गेम थर्ड गेम हो रहा है तो उसमें ज़्यादा अंदर रखे और सेफ थोड़ा खेले इससे ज़्यादा हम लोग को पॉइंट्स मिल सके इसके लिए वही थर्ड गेम वॉज वेरी कम्फर्टेबल फॉर यू ऑल दे मेड लॉट ऑफ एर बट नाउ महाराष्ट्र आर इन द फाइनल्स एंड द रियल बैटल विल स्टार्ट नाउ फॉर द टाइटल हाउ स्ट्रॉग इज द टीम एंड वॉट इज द मोरल इन द टीम नाउ या एवरीबडी इज वेरी मच एक्साइटेड अबाउट द फाइनल्स एंड वी थिंक वी हैव अ गुड चांस टू बीट द अपोनेंट्स इन द फाइनल्स बट लेट्स यू वॉट एम्स ऑल द बेस्ट टू यू विराज एंड विप्ल डू वेल इन द रिमेनिंग मैचेज So there you go Maharashtra have done really well and entered the final of the team championship a very good day for the maharashtrians uh, and we have just seen that they have outplayed goa 4-1 in the in the second uh, match for, of the day for them in the team championship that's all from me here back to the commentary position uh, with sham gaonkar the triumphant uh, maharashtrian men's uh, doubles team and uh, with that uh, we have uh, news that we are almost finishing this uh, broadcast for this evening session with the promise that we'll be coming back to you tomorrow early morning around 9 o'clock for the second day of uh, the badminton uh, tournament here at the 37th national games uh, being held in goa it's been an enthralling day here we've seen uh, the likes of uh, local players and national players uh, playing and showing us their marvelous talents and uh, some matches have been absolutely electrifyingly very close and uh, that has made for a great day of badminton at the dr shama prasad mukaji stadium in bombuli goa so with that and along with my uh, colleagues uh, sham gaonkar niraj prabhu elroy fernandez i am savya noruna uh, signing off from the commentary box uh, right here with the promise that we'll see you tomorrow morning around 9 am so keep yourself ready for another day of amazing badminton This is me along with the comedy team the technical team producer Uday Khamath and uh, everybody here at Dr Shyam Prasad Mukherjee Stadium saying have a good evening and goodbye Shubharatri